Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> My voice is still... Well, can you tell I haven't spoken in a while? <laughs> Welcome to... Coffee Break with Dr. Willard and Silas. I said I was going to change the introduction to... Blue Witch Presents Coffee Break with Laura Gonzalez. There you go. That is what we are supposed to be using for introduction. And uh, now I have a million boxes here. Okay, I'm thinking that I'm feeling 100% better and I'm not. Wow. Okay, good to know. Good to know where I am on my capacities. I'm still recovering from stressful situations and an illness but we are back we are back and we thank you all for being here good morning max good morning everybody welcome 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 so we have oracles today and the oracles that we have are in no particular order the Elemental Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Hello, Richard. The Celebration of Love by Eva Shackmer Sullivan. We have The Gospel of Aradia by Stacy DeMarco. And The Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. So, as you all were able to read on my Insta and socials, some stressful, yucky, shitty situations on my trip to California. And as a result of that, I'm pretty sure some stressful, um, some stress-induced illnesses, which I am not disclosing because I never like my medical shit to be published, but to be public, but we're back, we're better. And I really, really wanted to be doing this here with you today. So let's do it. Let's do it, shall we? It's okay, Richard. We're on the mend. We're on the mend. We're on the mend. And we, if anything, we went to California to learn who not to play with. You know? As much as you want to be a good kid and be on the playground and play with everybody, sometimes you shouldn't be playing with everybody. And that's all I'm saying about that. Back and better than ever. That's right. That's right. All right. Let's see what the Celebration of Love has for us today. I miss you guys. I miss you. It's been like a month. Seriously, it's been like a month. Because before the trip, I didn't see you for like a week. And then it was the week from the trip. And then the week after, because I was sick. So today, yeah, it's like three weeks, three weeks that I haven't seen you. All right, let's see. Let's breathe together like we do. May the divine let us see what needs to be seen and that information be used for the greater good. So be it. And we have blessings. Yeah. Being selective and, and denying access to certain people is one of the healthiest practices that one can have. Yep. All right, so Blessings, which is a beautiful card with an angel holding the earth. It's almost like God is, God is holding the earth. And the message is Blessings. You are inspired not to take the wonderful things in your life for granted. Look at a specific relationship or blessing you might be overlooking flooded with appreciation you are inspired not to take the wonderful things in your life for granted 
Look at the specific relationship or blessing you might be overlooking, flooded with appreciation. So it's about appreciating our relationships, the ones that are there already, and us not taking them for granted. And we go to the next oracle, which is the Halloween oracle, because we are on Halloween's Eve. September is not called September anymore. It's called Cal Halloween's Eve. <laughs> Halloween's Eve. How you been? I haven't seen you in forever. Tell me what's new and exciting in your lives. I know a lot of you are not going to catch this live because we started so, so, so late. And some of you are going to see this video later. So, uh, <laughs> so tell me how you've been. I know some of you are going to come to this video after like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Hey, Lola, Dancy Nancy. See, La Dancy Nancy just reminded me of uh, Chachutlique or Sacred Waters, the workshop will be happening on September 29th. We're going to meet at the um, 31st Street Beach at 9 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, September 29th. We're going to have a workshop about our sacred waters. And it's going to be fantastic. Hello, La Dancy Nancy. Max says, I bought the book Madre Mundo. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. I was thinking about the article that I wrote for Madre Mundo that I want to translate it and publish it elsewhere. All right, let's see what the Halloween Oracle has for us today. Joy. Yes, please. Yes, please. Can we have all the joy? Joy. Thank you, Max. Max says that the article is beautiful. I like it a lot, and that was bouncing on my head for a long, long time. So when the opportunity came from my dear friend, Christian Ortiz, to be part of that book, I was like, oh, finally, I get to write about this. And I get to write about it in Spanish, which is always a joy for me to speak and work on my natural language, native language. So, joy, look at her. And as we all know, the season officially changes this Sunday. We're going to fall. So, it's very fitting. Joy, actively seek pleasure and build more of the things that give you personal joy and laughter in your life. After all, we build in appointments for the dentist. Why not for our own pleasure? I like that. <laughs> I stand here. I am where I am. Fully alive and present. Stress is a sham. Stress is a sham. Actively seek pleasure and build more of the things that give you personal joy and laughter in your life. After all, we build in appointments for the dentist. Why not for our own pleasure? I stand here. I am where I am, fully alive and present. Stress is a sham. And it has a little phrase, affirmation, kind of, rejoicing in the present. Rejoicing in the present. I like that. I like that. We might we might use that one for, you know, when we publish the, the video. So I was telling you about that workshop that is going to happen on Sunday, the 29th. Uh, tickets are still available. And unfortunately, the early bird ended. But if you went to any of my workshops prior you still get your special discount, Nancy, Nancy. You still get a special discount if you have been to my prior uh, events. Just use the code, you know, the secret code. And uh, Nancy, if you don't have the secret code, hit me up because I can tell you what it is. 
and that way you get a little discount for you and Megan. Megan is her name. In case you want to go. So um, that's happening on the 29th. But tonight we're going to patch. We're going to have another session of uh, the Wellness Wednesdays with my contribution to Wellness Wednesdays, which is Radical Self Love. We're going to be there from 7 to 8. I think you can still sign up on the website. And if not, I think you can actually pay your ticket when you arrive. And those go from $10 up. And on Saturday, we're going to have Finding the Goddess Within at Patch as well. Patch has become like our second home. And we're very grateful to Patch for hosting us. And uh, we're going to be there on Wednesday doing Wellness Wednesday, um, Radical Self Love, and then Saturday, Finding the Goddess Within. Oh, my art piece is in there by the window. I'll make sure to look at it. Is it signed like La Dancy Nancy or what is your art sign up at? So I can make sure that I look for it. And I hope I can see you soon, my, my love. I need love. I need hugs from friends. I really do need hugs from friends right now. I it's been a very stressful beginning of the of the month. A uh, whole month basically. Today is the 18th. It's like I went to sleep on the first of September and I woke up today. And I need all the hugs from all the friends. Virtual hugs received as well. But you know, sometimes you need a, a, a friend to be there and to hug you. Hi, Kathleen. Kathleen Marianne, welcome. Let's see what the Elemental Oracle is there for us. And this one stuck to my hand. What is this? Wind. The wind of change. Oh my goodness, this illustration is so beautiful. It reminds me of the tower on Tarot, but it has a very beautiful, positive flavor. Huh, I wonder what the message is. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Just Nancy. Okay, I will find it. Hello, Silverlet. Okay, wind change. Change is the word. Resisting change is useless. Be prepared for a change in direction. You have been warned of change, so be it. This is so beautiful. So the word of power is change, the Norse wind. And the message, look at a beautiful card. It's almost like she is a tornado, but it looks like a gentle thing. My feeling is even though everything is moving, it's a gentle wind, right? All right, so change. Hello, Warlock. So change. Resisting change is useless. Be prepared for a change in direction. You have been warned of change. So believe it. So believe it. You have been warned of change. So believe it. I said be it and it's believe it. Yeah, I think uh, Richard Richard says, I've always liked the phrase winds of change and change in the wind. Uh, you and I are as moon children, as a water sign. We are more comfortable in water, so we're very comfortable in our emotions. But sometimes when that wind blows and makes us change, if we were a vessel in the water, if we were a... Uh, what is it called? I know it's called velero in Spanish, but how do you call it in English? Uh, 
you know, one of those vessels that moves with the wind, like a little boat. What is it called? It's not a raft or it's like a raft, but it has one wind thing and it moves with the wind. I can't remember the name. Sailboat, sailboat, a sailboat. Okay, back to the original idea. Because we are water signs, when we have that wind that move, moves us like a sailboat, it's, uh, it's a beautiful feeling because it's like something moves you. It's kind of something outside, but it's not outside really because it's our own thoughts. That's beautiful. I think that's beautiful. Anyway, guys, did I tell you about all the events? Yes. Wellness Wednesday tonight at Patch. Finding the Goddess Within. If you go, go for look for Nancy's uh, art by the door, by the window. Just sign as Nancy. Um, and then on Sunday the 22nd, we have Chicago Land, and Chicago Land Pagan Pride. I'll be doing readings and teaching a workshop on finding your own voice, speaking of wind. And then on the 27th, I'll be at Michael Baking Cafe, like a regular Friday, 12 to 5. The 29th, we have the Chachut Liquid or Sacred Waters Workshop. Hi, Janet. Janet just pop in here on Facebook. And yes, the sale, but everybody, thank you for helping. Um, and if you're interested on the uh, Chachut Liquid Workshop or Sacred Waters, and you miss the early bird special, call me. All right. Let's see what our last oracle is. Games. I remember this one. And it's very fitting because it's about games. So, games. Games that fits with changes, that feel, fits with wind, that fits with you know, all of the cards that we have had today. Games should be above board and full of fun. They should never be under underhanded, covert, mean-spirited, or harmful in any way. If someone is playing a strategic game against you, understand it for what it is, indeed a game, and change the rules to sit, suit yourself. Seek the light-hearted company of others. A celebration will soon be announced. A lighter heart is sometimes apt when a game between two is played. One gets to know the other a little better, and opinions may be changed or swayed. But games too can be wild and dark, hiding what is and what will be. Batter and bruise the way may go, and win and bring no guarantee. So we've been advised to go with the change, go with the win, to make sure that we book joy and happiness, to be present. And this last card is talking about games, right? Play the games for fun, and when the games are mean-spirited, you have the right to change the rules and quit, which is what I did. Anyway, let me read this again for all of us. Games. Games should be above board and full of fun. They should never be underhanded, covert, mean-spirited, or harmful in any way. If someone is playing a strategic game against you, understand it for what it is, indeed a game, and change the rules to suit yourself. Seek the light-hearted company of others. A celebration will soon be announced. A lighter heart is sometimes apt when a game between two is played. One gets to know the other a little better, and options might be changed or swayed. Opinions may be changed or swayed. 
But games too can be wild and dark, hiding what is and what will be. Better and bruise the way may go, and winning brings no guarantee. Hello, I am Daisy. <laughs> Thank you for joining. And yes, if you hear that I was kind of breaking a little bit and trying to hold back my tears, is because I was trying to hold back tears. Um, the situation which made me reject the ordination that I went to California for, I was, I was just thinking, I don't want to talk about it anymore, and I don't want to make it my whole personality, right? And it's not that it's going to, I mean, that is not my whole personality. People try to tokenize me. People try to make me a priestess so I can be, you know, their brown token priestess. And that's why I rejected the ordination. And I said to myself that I didn't want to talk about it. And I didn't want to make it public. And I didn't want to talk about it. But I have a community. You are my community. And you need to know that this injustices, this racism, this tokenizing, this objectifying, still happens to people of color, to women of color, to a priestess of color. I was lied to, and I was basically entrapped to, to go there and to be ordained. And then I was treated like shit. And my team were treated like shit. So no, I reject the ordination. And they might be historical figures on the goddess culture and this and that. I don't care. I don't care if it's the pop or God himself. I will not be tokenized and I will not be humiliated. And I will not be treated differently for being brown and indigenous. And it made me a little teary right now when I was reading. Because those are games that people play. And they are really mean games. And a lot of the time people are racist and they don't even realize that they're racist. But I don't think this was the case. The things that were said to me after the ordination were just disgusting and horrible. I'm not going to repeat it because, and I'm not repeating her name either. Because my breath is too worthy to other that name so i'm still as you can see sensitive but when i say i needed a hug it's because i need a hug no nobody nobody deserves to be tokenized and, and treated that way by the way hi katherine carr and erica welcome and no Nobody deserves, nobody, no person of color, no indigenous person, no person deserves to be tokenized and no person of color deserves to be tokenized. And it was my team and I, it was, it was all four of us were tokenized and uh, mistreated. That's in the past. I'm trying to move forward, but I need my community. I need my support and I need you and you need to know you need to know and you need to if you wish move away from those people and from that organization because not only they are turfs which they lied to me and they say that we're not turfs anymore that's why I went because we were having those conversations and then they ordained me and said, now you go breach the gap between the people of color, da, da, da. Horrible, horrible things that were said about black people and people of color. And then the tune of everything that said is like, they believe I'm black. And look, I will be very proud if I was black, but I'm not. And the fact that they don't even know that I'm not black, that I'm indigenous that I'm Mexican. So yeah, that happened and 
I need hugs. And and I need your support because I couldn't work for two weeks. So I'm also financially, you know, uh, I'm okay. I'm not lacking anything. But I didn't work for two weeks, you know. Because on top of that, I got sick while traveling, <laughs> you know. Uh, of course, my defenses were, were low, and, and anyway. Said she who said earlier she don't want her private things being public. It is public. I made a statement. If you haven't seen the statement, uh, it's on my socials. And and what I said on the statement summarizes everything. I will not be tokenized, and I will not be uh, sharing the goddess tradition just to a percentage of this population. I am not going to be a minister <clears throat> and a priestess only for cis women. I'm a minister and I'm a priestess for everyone. For everyone. I don't give a hoot of what is between your legs. That's none of my business. And we are in the 21st century, and these people refuse to join us in the 21st century. So because they refuse to join us in the 21st century, I reject their ordination. I don't care to be Diana. I don't want it. I don't want it under, under those conditions. No, thank you. And that's why I said I reject the ordination. I reject it and I don't want it and I want you and I want to serve you all of you you know because according to them I shouldn't be servicing my that my Nancy Nancy I shouldn't be servicing Warlock I shouldn't be servicing Richard I shouldn't be servicing excuse me but fuck that <laughs> you know? no these are my people that I am a reverend to I'm a minister, I'm a priestess to all of you. Yep. For those who don't understand Spanish, wireless says is really bad when people are racist and discriminatory and being pagan, they shouldn't be. Yeah, you might think that being pagan and saying we all come from the goddess, um, anyway. I got teary-eyed because I am amongst friends, and it feels good to be amongst friends. Thank you all for watching. Support me if you can. Tonight at the Wellness Wednesday at Patch, Saturday at the Finding the Goddess Within workshop, the next Friday at Mindful Waking Cafe, uh, the 22nd at Chicago Open and Pride Day, the 29th at the Chalchitlique workshop. I wasn't able to promote enough of that workshop. I've only sold seven tickets. That doesn't cover the cost of everything. So if you want to go, if you if you if you want to go and you want a discount, hit me up. Especially if you've been to prior events of mine. Um, I want to get at least three more people, and that will put me on the black. Um, and that's it. I, I I think this is the last time I talk about it. If not, it's okay. But uh, they don't deserve my tears. I cry for me. My tears, what made me emotional right now was being back with you. That is what made me emotional. That I'm with you. And that I should have never let... <laughs> That's why I keep putting it on my Facebook, you know, never let me leave again. You know. I don't I don't want to leave Chicago anymore. I love y'all. I'll see you Friday. I think we're gonna see each other Friday and now we see each other next week. I think I'm busy on Friday. But we'll see. We'll see. Hugs to all and Never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.